From Tampa Bay streaming news leader, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Wendy Ryan. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your top stories at this hour. All eyes are on the tropics as the system tries to organize. Tampa's mayor is asking people to be prepared for a possible storm. Emergency response center teams have gotten drones to more quickly assess property damage. If you need to go to a shelter, there are 46 across Hillsborough County and many of which allow pets. Some small businesses dedicated to the arts in Tampa are worried about their futures. Power Stories Theater and House of Shadows Art Gallery are just two of the businesses in this building on Kennedy Boulevard. That building could soon be sold and torn down. The business owners say they weren't given enough notice and they only found out after seeing a sign posted in the alleyway. The developer is working to get the property rezoned so they can tear it down to build a new project that will include apartments, retail space and restaurants. Big changes coming to the water system in St. Petersburg. Major upgrades now in the works to prevent future sewage spills. Every day, up to 16 million gallons of wastewater goes to the Northeast Water Reclamation Facility. City leaders are hoping to upgrade the electrical system, renovate the distribution pumps, and put in an injection well to put treated wastewater below ground, which they say should keep the tanks from being overwhelmed when we get severe storms. And now here's Chief Meteorologist just Dennis Phillips with Florida's most accurate forecast. Dennis. Hey, doing everybody and welcome to fall. Fall officially begins just after nine o'clock this evening and skies will be mostly clear. We did see a few showers in Polk County, a few in Highlands County, but otherwise we were dry and very warm today. Tomorrow, more of the same to start the day. I do think we'll see a handful of showers and storms late afternoon, early evening. So the completely dry air that we've had will kind of give way Tomorrow we'll return to late rainy season weather, meaning more isolated storms as opposed to widespread rain. But obviously the big topic of conversation is the tropics and what is going on with this. At this point, you've got a blob that doesn't have a center. So using a model to focus where it's going to go without a sp starting point is pretty much impossible. And that blob could go from here to here in terms to where that center forms. Well, that is a huge, huge thing because if it is more to the north where it develops, it would take a track closer to South Florida by Tuesday, by the way. If it's more south, it probably would go in this direction and then eventually in the northern Gulf. So until we see that center, until the low develops, we're kind of at the mercy of Mother Nature. I think that'll happen in the next 36 to 48 hours. Northwest winds for the boaters on Friday. Your sunrise 719, sunset 725. The beach looks good. Maybe a few late day storms popping up, kind of a return to that late season rain that we get with the rainy season. So again, there's a look at your forecast right on through the overnight skies remain clear to partly cloudy. A few late day storms in the forecast.